The sape says the more they fight this reverse split, the more conviction and knowledge of how right we all are. I suspect it's even bigger than we can imagine. Companies reverse split all the time, but AMC tries and they tie us up in court in a frivolous lawsuit that should have been thrown out. And they say down below says it's the 7.5 to 1 they are most scared of. They just want to sabotage the settlement, not the conversion and reverse split. Imagine 2 billion synthetic AMCs divided by 7.5, that's 266 million shares to deliver. And in 5 billion synthetics, that's 666 million. The bankruptcy of this firm could be inevitable. This is a post from Investor Turf. It says Citadel has been bailed out three times, once in 2008 with taxpayer money, twice in 2020 with a $1.2 billion lifeline from Sequoia and Paradigm, and then a $600 million loan. The bankruptcy of this firm is inevitable. Comment down below if you actually think that Citadel could be bankrupt sometime in the future. This ape says you can take the dog out of the fight, but you can't take the fight out of the dog. They keep pushing us out of the ring. They keep turning off the lights so that we can't see. They can postpone the match so it never starts. They can throw the match. They can pay the audience to jar. They can pay the announcer to root for the opponent. But they can't take off our gloves. They can never take our sights off the prize. They cannot postpone the inevitable forever. They'll never catch up. They will run out of money. They will never win. A new post from Unusual Wales, it says John Stewart has said about the market. John Stewart said the system was written and built for the people that are operating in it. So you're the away team. You're allowed access, but only at a certain level. You don't get access to the VIP room. Now this is very well said and it feels like that more than ever, especially in the last year or so where it feels like that the higher ups, those in power, and the fact that they're able to kind of rewrite rules as they go and when something doesn't go their way, they pick up the phone and make changes almost immediately. Well, all the retail investors, all the normal people like myself and like you, we're sitting around asking for a free and fair market. And all we've heard so far is crickets. 